A wrestling fan has jumped a barricade at an indie show and it did not go well for him. Finn Balor was injured at a WWE house show last night and we've got a rumor killer on a certain AEW star departing the company. Stay tuned for the news. I want to talk about this because everybody else is. You may have seen the clip already, but it's absolutely bonkers stuff. This video is circulating of a wrestling fan uh, jumping the barricade at an indie show. So he's at a rugged pro wrestling show, uh, a show which saw Jay Fowler, who is fantastic, by the way, really great wrestler, defend his title against Angus Kaiser. Uh, so this fan jumps the barricade. We've seen it happen before at various points. WCW, it happened an awful lot. We've seen it in WWE as yep. well. This fan jumps the barricade, obviously a silly thing to do, um, starts attacking one of the wrestlers, but he's almost immediately choked out by Jay Fowler, their champion. Uh, at which point, and this is the, one of the funniest things that I've ever seen, and I don't want to talk about this because it's so mental, he's getting choked out, he starts tapping. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's definitely a scene to behold. <laughs> He starts tapping out. I shouldn't laugh, really. He starts tapping out to release the hold. He's given up. The match is over, right? Um, he is quickly escorted out by security. Job done. This is doing thousands of retweets, likes all over social media. Um, all Steel, Jay Fowler, uh, later commenting on Twitter. Stay on the other side of the barricade. <laughs> You marks, uh, pretty spot on. <laughs> Just don't do it. It's a silly thing to do. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, you jump that barricade, you're fair game. I mean, not, I mean, absolutely for sure. But like the guy gets in the ring and there's clearly three wrestlers in that ring as well. <laughs> so a... even if he manages to take one down, there's still two <laughs> other people there and also a referee involved too. Not to mention the security getting involved as well. Uh, and a whole host of wrestlers backstage in the locker room exactly. ready to come out yeah. and lay into this guy. It's, it, it's crazy. It's, it really, really is. It's just, And it's scary as well because stuff like that shouldn't happen, should it? No, it shouldn't. Stay, stay on that side of the barricade yes. boo all you want shout whatever you want within reason nothing especially horrible don't mm. call them bellends or anything anyway <laughs> just, don't, just don't do it anyway that guy very much getting his comeuppance that side of the barricade yes. we're moving over to wwe now uh, and a wwe raw star has shown off a brutal injury ahead of wrestlemania 40 he's in, he's in a featured title match there we're talking about the judgment days finn balor uh, so last night a wwe live event took place in syracuse uh, the judgment day taking on the new day in a battle of the days refereed by darren day that part's not true <laughs> um and finn at some point in the match has clearly got clocked something's gone wrong and he's taken to twitter uh, posting a video of his noggin with a second noggin, noggin <laughs> protruding out of it uh, with the caption Easter egg because it and you know what if I got an Easter egg that size I'd be bloody chuffed yeah. <laughs> And it looked like it was filled with goodies as well. <laughs> yeah, it sure did. Mm. So yeah, Finn Balor, uh, he, he's he, he's clearly got knocked silly in this match. It looks yeah. really, really rough. We don't know any real further details, but the fact that he's taken to Twitter so soon after is probably a good indication that he's going to be all right. I mean, not only that, he's also scheduled to be uh, a part of the match tonight on Raw, uh, the Judgment Day versus DIY and the New Day too. Oh yeah. So whether he gets taken out of that or not remains to be seen, but I would hope that he's, he's all right. Yeah, don't be surprised if you see Finn Balor looking like you know what it sort of works doesn't it he's the demon he's actually growing oh, a he's horn, growing a horn. He's, he's halfway there, there isn't he go. we're sending our best wishes to Finn Balor of, of course. course he seems to be taking in good spirits obviously with the with the easter egg comment and everything but yeah he's uh, that, that's not going to heal even by Wrestlemania one would no, assume it's going to look I mean to be fair you know when he got clocked uh, at Wrestlemania prior when he had the big gash in his head oh in the he edge was match just, yeah he was he was uh, Perhaps not out there straight away wrestling, but I mean, he was still on TV doing stuff as well. And yeah, well, they, like, they continued the match and they kept, they kept doing mental spots as well, insane. didn't they? He's he insane. is. He, he really is. But yeah, nothing but the best. And hopefully he's all good. And I'm I'm hoping he will be. I feel like I'm sure he will be for, for WrestleMania 40 at least. Anyway. Yeah, fingers crossed. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Uh, obviously, he's defending the tag team titles in that six way ladder match, which is going to be mental. We tried to do this yesterday on WWE 2K24. Yeah. And it was like, like we we only had six of them in there. That one was representing each and it, it was it was a lot. But you, you 12, were 12, people. twelve people. 
with ladders as well. A lot of moving parts. Yes. Sending our best once again to Finn Balor. Uh, quick update on Pete Dunne. Uh, you may have read previously that Pete Dunne uh, had been producing some of the WWE speed matches. If you're not up to speed with those matches. Hey, yeah, thank you. I'm like Tom Campbell. Um, it's uh, the, the, a load of wrestling matches which are premiering uh, or, or exclusive to, to X. And to, they to all, Twitter, yeah. They all last less than three minutes. Three uh, minute yeah, timer. Three minute, three minute timer. So yeah. you've got three minutes to play with. Uh, Pete Dunne have been producing some of those matches. Uh, Fightful Select providing an update saying that he has once again produced this week's WWE Speed matches uh, during the SmackDown tapings, which were Dragon Lee versus Ricochet and Bronson Reed versus Cedric Alexander. One of those really stands out to me as literally, if you were to book a WWE Speed Dream match, yeah. Dragon Lee and Ricochet, mm. they're two boys, aren't they? They are, yeah. That's going to be really, really good. That's How do you feel insane. about the whole Speed concept? Uh, do you know what? I don't mind me and Tom were talking about this and sort of, I guess it's more, it feels feels more like it's directed towards people who aren't necessarily fans of wrestling. And if you get good three minute chunks, and I mean Dragon Lee and Ricochet, for some, for, say someone who's never seen wrestling before, sees this on their feed and is like three minutes, goes by as quick as out with two of the best quick boys in there. Yeah. That was, feels like it could definitely, it could very well be a, 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 Just a thing highlight to reel, bring right? you back in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, and that, sure. that's what you want as well, isn't it? So imagine if it's all rest in. holds now. We're, we're, we're watching. Imagine. It's a two minute 30 sleeper. <laughs> oh my God. That's, I feel like one of these matches is going to be there. <laughs> Um, anyway, yeah, so there's a new speed championship uh, yep. coming. So somebody's going to get the holds on a new WWE title mm -hmm. belt. Uh, essentially, they're, they're doing this. Twitter, obviously, X, sorry, but paying them crazy money to do this. They're yep. looking for original content on their platform as they try and diversify their output and get more video content on there. So WWE, this is, you know, they're, they're making a, a few quid from this. I, I'm quite excited about it. I think it could I be think quite so fun. Too. And you know what? With Pete doing the, the helm as well, producing some of this stuff, I feel like it's, it's going to be bad. Yeah. Anyway, totally really glossed is. over Pete Dunne there, but to be doing that at his age, to be trusted to produce yeah. WWE matches, uh, I think says a lot about his future in the company and, yeah. and how well regarded he is. I mean, that's it. Like, he's obviously doing great stuff within the tag team division at the moment with Tyler Bate, but like the fact that he's been around for so long, even prior to WWE on the indies and everything, uh, you know, William Regal's a huge fan. You would, you would assume that uh, Pete Dunne under William Regal's wing has just completely like passed over so much knowledge of all this kind oh, of yeah. stuff too so perhaps once pete dunn's in-ring career is done almost already feels like a no-brainer for him to like transition into a, a, a role like that it's crazy that uh he feels like a vet at his age <laughs> yeah. isn't it i mean he is really he's been doing it for so bloody oh, absolutely. long absolutely mm. he's amazing uh we've got an update now a bit of a rumor killer on a certain AEW star who was speculated as to be leaving the company. Yes, Parker Baudreau last competed in an AEW ring on March 3rd, 2023 on Rampage, uh, losing to Dustin Rhodes and Keith Lee alongside Swerve Strickland. Uh, however, he recently made his debut for Lucha Libre AAA Worldwide, which caused fans to speculate that Parker had quietly finished up with AEW. However, this is not the case, as Fightful Select have reported. They say that Parker Baudreau is still assigned to All Elite Wrestling. First of all, I can't believe that it's been over a year mm. that, that, that time's gone really really quickly but in that year look at that lineup there losing to dustin rhodes and keith lee alongside swerve strickland how much has this company changed in the course of a so year much. <laughs> isn't it's that bonkers insane. It's, it's insane just to like within wrestling just to go back a year and see how much things were different you know people who maybe are in the top now were like in the mid card or whatever before even maybe lower than that it's yeah. insane uh Parker Baudreau, I'm wondering what's going to happen. Uh, it confused me a little bit in terms of obviously AEW's partnership and, and everything with CMML yeah. at the moment. The AAA stuff, not sure how that works, but maybe I've, maybe I've missed something there in the whole grand scheme of things. But don't know. He's got a, he's got a good look. I like he Parker. Does. I think he does. he's all right. He, he was somebody that um, I was a little bit surprised that he got signed initially, but mm. um, at the same time, I think he showed a lot of improvement. Uh, in, I think in his so time. too in sort of the, the mainstream big popular wrestling. Mm. Um, and so I think he, I think he'll do well in the future. Yeah. Anyway, best of luck to him. We're gonna finish off uh, with a bit more AEW news. Uh, you may have seen the um, Adam Copeland's 
Cope Open, which I love. I love that name That's so good. much. It's fun to say. The Cope Open was uh, was answered. Uh, the challenge was answered by one Matt Cardona um, on AEW Collision on Saturday. Uh, really great moment for yeah. the former Zack Ryder, somebody mm. who obviously worked with Edge, was one of the Edge heads. Yep. Uh, looked up to him, legit hero. He was buzzing about it. Um, and he's just posted a few words on his social media, uh, thanking Tony Khan, AEW, and Adam Copeland himself for making the match happen. This is just a nice story to finish things off. Uh, a slightly abridged version because it was long, but I'll, I've left the good stuff in. Adam Copeland versus Matt Cardona. My dream match finally happened last night at Collision. Uh, when I was in high school, Edge was one of my favorite wrestlers. I'd have matches with him, an invisible version, in my bedroom or trampoline. Him reinventing himself into the rated R superstar made me an even bigger fan of his. A couple of years later, Brian Myers and I made it to WWE, but were drowning as the Major Brothers. Oh, the Major Brothers, bloody hell. Yeah. Uh, we were about to be fired. We had an idea to be Adam's entourage, his eggheads. Eggheads? Eggheads? Yep. Oh, CJ DeMuey. <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> um, Kevin, big props to Kevin. His eggheads. Uh, he didn't need us, but we certainly needed him. He took a chance on us, saved our careers, and changed our lives. 16 years flew by so far. 16 years? Wow. Adam had to retire due to a neck injury in 2011 my dream match would never happen adam returns to wwe in 2020 i get fired from wwe in 2020 my dream match would never happen uh, last night in canada adam had the cope open an open challenge for his tnt championship i accepted the fans didn't forget the history there was a holy you know what chance on my goddamn entrance i may have lost but i learned even more from adam from that match it was a night that i'll never forget i finally wrestled my dream match thank you adam you're welcome thank you tony khan for the opportunity uh, it's performed really, really well, by the way, on AEW social media channels. I checked out on YouTube, uh, and on YouTube alone, uh, about half a million views in wow. the space of a day and a bit. So that's not too shabby. That's there. incredible. It makes me think. Do you reckon they'll have him back? I think so. Yeah, I, I think, think so. Show, I, as, as sort of uh, Matt said there, like fans don't forget the history and everything that happened. And and, uh, and Matt Cardon has been very vocal before about Edge being his favorite wrestler and wanting to wrestle Edge and stuff like that. And for him to finally do it, the crowd were so hot for him as well. Yeah. Like it was really, really cool to see. And the fact that he managed to get to do this when at one point he thought, it's never going to happen. Yeah, the because timing of the neck was rough. Injury. Yeah, it really, really was. So that he managed to do that and also them to have a banger match as well. Yeah. They've got incredible chemistry and still keep that chemistry that they have together as well. So I reckon they'll have him back again. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, yeah, he's, 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 he's gone away and he's like, he's making bank on the indie circuit. Yeah. He's, he's like one of the indie circuit's biggest names, if not the biggest name. Everybody wants to see him still. Um, and so I don't know if he'd want to sign with AEW. Obviously his missus is in, is in WWE. WWE. Yeah. I, I, a lot of people have been speculating they might pop back up in WWE. We've been yeah. talking about that for ages now. Anyway, like congratulations to him. I think that's awesome. Mm -hmm. And I think massive, massive props, by the way, to Tony Khan for booking that. I think that's a cool thing for Tony to do. Yeah, definitely. Like, it, it feels like a very fun thing to do. Doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, Someone sure. who just really understand wrestling and the history of stuff as well. Some people don't like that about Tony. They, mm. they call him a mark and all that sort of stuff. Um, and I actually quite like the passion that he yeah. shows. Like the, the, the fact that he is a wrestling fan first and foremost, and people say, oh, well, that's going to be bad for business because he's just a mark. He's hugging all these people and looking like he's <laughs> going to cry and all that. There's something about it I, quite, I, I find quite touching. Yeah. Some of it's a bit silly sometimes, but whatever. It's a cool thing for Tony to do, I think. So well done to him. Quick reminder, it's WrestleMania week. You know what's coming up, but Tonight, WrestleMania themed 2K24 list. Tomorrow, I'm going to be live. Please watch 9 p.m. Uh, with the showcase of the Immortals mode. We're going to be playing the first five matches from Ooh. that. Five absolute epics. Uh, Andre, Hogan, uh, Warrior, Rick Rude, Steamboat Savage, mm -hmm. uh, Warrior, Hogan. Uh, big ones, right? There's, there's, there's five there's of them. I can't, I can't remember the fifth one. Um, <laughs> please watch that. You can check. Uh, you can set a reminder now. In fact, youtube.com slash cultaholic slash live and then we got pitches we got predictions we got the podcast we got wrestlemania night one and before that we got nxt bloody standard delivery reactions over on twitch.tv slash cultaholic i know you're fed up of us talking about this and plugging and plugging and plugging but it's the biggest week for us so please do check it out wrestlemania night one reactions with me and andrew and then you got what happened at wtf all the same for night two and then it's me and andrew back for monday night raw oh. 
after Mania. I forgot one. I'm doing the go home episode of SmackDown oh. as well on Friday. There's loads. Just keep an eye on the channel. I'm sure you will. Thank you very, very much. Enjoy the rest of your long weekend if you've uh, if you've been lucky enough to to, to get that. Uh, and just have a great day. All the best. WrestleMania week. Come on.